Alright. I really need to get rid of this thing. It's annoying. So, what we're gonna do is set ourselves away. Whoops. Home. Hey, look. A map of our solar system. Yeah. Basically, that map is the Galacticraft map, and it shows you the planets that are available so far, which is Earth and Mars. Uh, controls, no waypoints, options. Where is it? Ah. I just want signs. I don't need beacons. Okay. So. What do we got here? We have tin, iron, copper, copper. So. I guess what should we get started on? Tinker's Construct is a work in progress. Thermal expansion. So what we would need for that is we need a pulverizer. We're going to need gold and iron. So that's going to take a little bit to really get that going. So how about we start with IC2, if we can. So we would need battery box. So we're going to need tin and redstone, of course. So we're going to have to do quite a bit of mining. So we might as well get started with Tinker's Construct. And I just threw all that on the ground, didn't I? Okay. So. Let's go finish gathering some of that gravel. Then we're going to gather sand. And then. I'll sense clay is right here. Let's just grab this. <laughs> now. Pretty much the minimum amount of everything you're going to need is about 64. But, if you want a bigger smeltery, you're going to want more. <coughs> so I generally just grab as much as I can of everything, because I like to have bigger smelteries so I can smelt things faster quicker, make better thing, well, honestly, better really doesn't apply to this, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to go with two stacks of clay, just for now. When we need more, we know it's right out here. Uh, can I get out before I start dying? Yes, I can. Okay. So right over here was the gravel. Yep, right up there. And let's see, get up here. Alright. Harvesting gravel. I really hate finding amber everywhere. I mean, it's useful in Thumbcraft, but when I don't have anything to mine it, it gets very annoying very quickly. Now, just a warning for you guys. I suck at building really cool, nice things. So if you guys are expecting a very cool build with my house, I'm sorry to say I am terrible at it. I, I try my best, but I'm not very good at it, nor do I pretend to be good at it. <coughs> and there's a zombie with a pickaxe on his head. Alright, die zombie! Die! <coughs> yes! Ah, crap, I'm dying from hunger. Again. Ooh, I have 60. Plus whatever I gathered earlier. 
you guys are probably saying, hey, David, you're missing all this ore. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be coming back for all that when I go on my official mining trip, which is probably going to be mostly off camera. At, I'll probably do a little bit on camera, but mining is generally not the most exciting thing. Now, of course, if anything interesting and cool happens, I'd definitely show you guys. But, oh, shovel broke. Generally, that isn't needed. Alright, I think I'm gonna have two st Ow. That was stupid. <clears throat> Alright, so now all I need left is... I'm gonna die before anything. Luckily, I spawn right there. Ooh, sugar cane. Good. I wanted some of this. Alright. So, let's kind of just start this farm right here. A little bit closer. Alright. So, let's put the gravel away. Ooh, nice. So I have a little bit of extra... And that is perfectly fine. Now let's gather some sand. I'll probably use up this entire shovel by the time I get all this sand. But that is why I made it. So... Hmm. So I'm trying to think if I should start with thermal expansion or if I should start with industrial craft. Industrial craft power is a little bit easier to get started with, but thermal expansion overall is more reliable power, in my opinion. Hmm. That's a very good question. I guess I should see what do I need to get... Oh, I was so close. <clears throat> I should probably figure out what I need to get started with thermal expansion power versus industrial calf power before I make my decision, huh? Alright, so let's take all this. Sand, gravel, clay. Got some grout. Sand, gravel, clay. And got some more grout. Alright, see so you. Uh, you know what? Let's make four furnaces. Because I tend to be very impatient sometimes. At 12 coal. That's not going to be enough. But it will get me started. Alright. So... Now I know there was some coal in that cavern over there. <coughs> so we're gonna go mine some of that. And then I'm thinking I probably should start some kind of... Ah, oh, crap. It's a party creeper. He's here to party, and I'm here to slay him. Well, that could have gone better. And when I meant slay him, I meant him slay me. <laughs> yeah, there was no saving myself from that. That was horrible. Everything, no. Oh, everything should be around here. Okay, seriously. I'm going to have to block that up. 
And go away. There we go. Alright, party creeper killed me. He must have been having a blast. Huh. Get it? Blast? Huh. Yeah, I know. Puns are lame. My puns are very lame. Getting some coal. <clears throat> and then once I get the smeltery up and running, I'm going to need to get myself a bucket and grab this lava right here. That way I can get started on making a better pickaxe. Maybe even make something even better than a pickaxe. We'll see. That might have to wait a bit, because I don't think I have that much ore. Alright. I think that should be enough coal for the moment. Especially because it's getting dark and I, I don't need any more humiliating deaths after that one. Alright, so let's see how the grout is cooking up. Alright, and that should be enough coal to finish cooking all that. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to go do a little bit of mining while that cooks up and while it's night. So, unless something interesting happens, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I haven't done much. I, I was kind of doing a little bit over here. Um, So I kind of started this, but I thought, hey, wait, I, I should be showing them what's going on. So I should be showing you guys kind of what I just did. So sticks are normal you can use them or you can use tool rods um and then what you do is if you need a pickaxe head you put in cobblestone wood you can use flint paper whatever and just grab the head i already have one and then same with the binding but this one will give you the stone binding and a stone shard that's only because this will only use half of the material so, say you need to make another one, you can use this as the other half, and bam, you can make another one. So that's kind of what I just did, and let's build, put this together, so, like so, and there you go. Now, the handle, I guess I should kind of explain this a little bit, and let's script, oh, I don't need that book, I have the book I already need. Alright, so say you're making something you want the best durability in that so you see the handle map <clears throat> the handle modifier this is 1.0 so this will give you a decent handle modifier so full tool durability 59 now stone its durability is 131 but the handle modifier is only half so, see like here, the durability is 131. Now, say we were to create, I'm doing this as an example. So, 131, and we put in stone tool. It's only 65. That's because you're only getting half the durability because it's made of stone. So, it's kind of something you should look out for when building stuff. Now, <clears throat> some of the other things you can use in the regular um, thing, some of these require smeltery, like all metals require smeltery. <clears throat> Flint is a 0.7 durability. Cactus is 1.0, so I could have used a cactus tool rod. Um, but it gives you jagged and splintering level 1. That means there's the chance of you getting hurt using it. You can use bone, which um, durability 200, handle modifier is 1. Obsidian, you can use very poor durability, but you can use it to mine obsidian. 
So that's actually really useful, say you find it in a chest or something. That requires smeltery, and that's an alloy. Netherrack. Now, this, if you get a hold of, is better to use as a tool rod than wood, because it's 1.2 times. Now you can also make your stuff out of slimes. Green slime, which you get from regular slimes, has a durability of 500 and its handle modifier is 1.5. So that means it would give you 1000 durability. Then there is blue slime. There are new mobs added with Tinker's Construct called blue slimes. They drop blue slimes, which you, you can use as a food or if you combine four with sand and dirt, you'll get slime crystals. This has a durability of 1,200, and its handle modifier is two times. So if you were able to get this, that would give you approximately 2,400 durability, which is actually really, really nice, but if you made this as a pickaxe head, it could only mine stone. So very good for tool rod, very bad for pickaxe head, and that's a zombie being annoying. And like here, you can make slimy mud and then you heat it up to make a slime crystal. Yes, you can make tools out of paper. Why would you? I don't know. But if you say you made a tool binding out of paper, it doesn't affect durability at all, but it'll give you this writable which writable means you get an extra modifier. And then cobalt is an ore found in the nether. Pretty cool, pretty decent durability, very nice handle durability. Now, ardite, nice to, not so well durability, not as good as cobalt, but that handle modifier is pretty nice. Manuleum, best stuff there is. Nether alloy, it requires cobalt and ardite, and it's stronger than diamond. So you're gonna get the best out of that. And then here's some other stuff. Steel, yes you can use steel, but you cannot make steel in the smeltery. You have to make it elsewhere. So like railcraft. And those are all the different modifiers. And this guy is going to annoy me! Die! There's a creeper with a rape glove on it. Okay. 